Good morning, St. Joe's, and to our social media community. Today is Thursday, May 28th, 2020. It's a beautiful day, so we've lucked out quite a bit this week. We've got one more day left in the week, and today I'd like to offer our intention as a subject that we're going to talk about for our reflection, and that is deacons. So here's today's reflection. Each month, Pope Francis asks Catholics around the world to pray for a particular intention. During this month of May, that intention has been for, you guessed it, deacons. Deacons have been around since the time of the New Testament. They would serve in the early church, tending to the physical, the mental, and the spiritual needs of all the faithful that were increasing in great numbers. The first deacon was St. Stephen, who served his ministry in preaching the word and engaging in acts of service to others. Interestingly enough, Pope Francis chose his name after St. Francis of Assisi, who most people actually think was a priest, but in fact, he was a deacon himself. And has something to do with the fact that he lived a life of service, especially to the poor. It's a huge vocation for deacons. Today, the ministry of deacons involves ordained men that are called to teach by proclaiming the scriptures and instructing the faithful. While they're not priests, their jobs include things like the occasional preaching, assisting with initiation of new Catholics, religious education classes, preparing couples for marriage, offering formation to parents prior to the baptism of their children, assisting with confirmation, and providing service in alternate settings like schools, prisons, and hospitals. When you see a deacon in a church today, they are often assisting at Mass. They are both single and married deacons. And you can recognize the deacon from the priest of the mass because the deacon often wears a diagonal sash on top of his vestments. Today in particular, I want us to pray for Deacon George Duranis, who has been very involved in our parish community. He's come and visited classes. He's helped us with our Ash Wednesday liturgy. And we'd also like to pray for Deacon Lionel Gomes. They're both from our school's parish of St. Joseph's Church. And I'd also like us to pray for one of our very own chaplaincy leaders in Dufferin Peel, and that's Deacon Ray Frando, who's the chaplaincy leader at Father Michael Gates Secondary School. And so we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you sent your disciples to proclaim to all the kingdom of heaven, not just with words, but also with works of mercy. We ask you for all who in your church live the diaconate as their mission. Strengthen them with your spirit, encourage them together with their families to announce your word with ardor and manifest your tenderness and mercy to the little ones, the poorest and the excluded. Enrich your church with more deacon vocations. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And just one announcement on this Thursday for all chaplaincy students who are having our weekly chaplaincy meeting at 3 p.m. on Google Meets. All the information is on our, our St. Joe Chaplaincy Instagram account. So we'll see you uh, tonight at 3 p.m. And that's it for me. Have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you right back here on the last day of the week. It's already Friday. Have a great day, St. Joe's.